DaVinci Resolve has been gaining popularity as an editor in the last few years thanks to its impressive features and user-friendly accessibility. But if you're looking for a quick and simple snapshot tool to extract still images, like what's found in Premiere Pro's export frame camera icon, you have to dig a bit to find that feature in Resolve. In this video, I'll show you a few different ways to capture stills and create a freeze frame. The first method we'll go over is the easiest way to extract a still image from DaVinci Resolve. Position the playhead in the timeline on the frame you want to capture. Then go to File, Export, Current Frame is Still. A pop-up window will appear, allowing you to select the delivery location for your image. You now have an image which you can share or edit. There are two things to keep in mind when using this method. First, your timeline resolution directly influences the resolution of the exported image. To get the best quality, ensure your timeline is set to the media's highest resolution before export. Secondly, you can't select the image file format like you can in Premiere. In Resolve, you can only export a single frame as a JPEG. This second method for exporting stills is slightly more advanced, but it includes a bonus with editing control. First, go to the color page and find your desired frame in the timeline or preview window. Right click within the preview window and select grab still. Next, open the gallery window, right click the still and choose export. Then select your preferred delivery location. Upon exporting, you'll see an additional DRX file is included with the still image. This DRX file, or DaVinci Resolve Exchange file, contains all the gradient information from that particular still image. This is handy if you want to share the still with another editor who uses Resolve, since it includes the entire grade construction. Unlike Premiere Pro, where a snapshot can automatically be added back into your project, bringing still images back into Resolve requires a few extra steps. To create a pause with a still image, you'd need to export it to your desktop, import it back into your project library, and place it on the timeline, adding unnecessary steps to your workflow. Thankfully, DaVinci Resolve has several native options for creating freeze frames without relying on a still image. One of the quickest methods is to navigate to the clip you want to freeze and press Shift and R to freeze the entire clip. However, this isn't ideal if you only want a specific frame frozen. To do that, make a cut using the blade edit mode to isolate a single frame. First, press B on your keyboard to make a cut. Now, with the selection isolated, you can freeze it by pressing Shift and R or right-clicking, selecting Change Clip Speed, and then choosing Freeze Frame. The second, slightly more advanced method of freezing a frame is using retime controls. These offer precise control over various speed changes within a single clip. To access this, select your video clip, then navigate to Retime Controls. The shortcut is Control and R or Command R if you're on a Mac. You'll then see blue triangles at the top of the clip indicating it's playing at normal speed, along with a percentage value at the bottom of the clip confirming this. Next, the percentage value is an inverted triangle. Clicking this reveals various time manipulation options, including freeze frame. First, ensure your playhead is positioned where you want the freeze to begin, then select freeze frame from the drop-down menu. You'll notice that this area's speed value changes to 0% and the blue triangles turn to red lines, meaning it's a frozen segment. You can now adjust the duration of the freeze while keeping everything within the primary timeline clip. However, I would only use this method for instances when you're using retime controls to manipulate other parts of the clip, as it can become confusing. For example, once you close retime controls by pressing Control R or Command R if you're on a Mac, there's no way to see which part of the clip is frozen in your timeline. Whereas if you isolate a section from the primary media and then freeze it, a clock icon appears to indicate this speed change. You can also label that section with a specific color, making it easier to identify when you're looking at your timeline. So there you have it. Two ways to export a still in DaVinci Resolve with a handful of methods to create a freeze frame. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Then head over to storyblocks.com for unlimited downloads of royalty-free 4K footage, templates for DaVinci Resolve, music, and more.